It's a tiger's tail with a different twist. In January of this year, a motorist found these two eight-month-old tiger cubs wandering along a rural road here in North Carolina. After apparently being dumped on the roadside, these potentially dangerous exotics were captured by local animal control officials and brought to the North Carolina Zoo for temporary housing. Zoo curator of mammals Lorraine Smith tells us about the fate of the tiger cubs and the ongoing statewide problem with private ownership of dangerous animals. It's difficult to know if the cubs were abandoned, if they escaped from someone. One thing we do see is as um, young cubs grow, people often um, decide that, that at that point the dietary needs, the housing, the power of the animals, and the, the danger level escalates. And at that, that's the point at which we often see people asking the zoo for assistance placing them. These cubs were a little younger than um, what we typically see. It's just really impossible to know how they came to be where they were unless the people responsible for that step forward and let us know. Since the cubs arrived at the zoo, they've been eating and eating and eating. They um, have gained 35 pounds each. They were both underweight when they arrived at the zoo. The North Carolina Zoo houses only animals from Africa and North America and tigers are native to Asia. They are not part of our collection plan. We are housing the tigers until the Carnivore Preservation Trust in Pittsburgh is able to receive them. The Carnivore Preservation Trust is able to offer a much larger, more spacious facility to house the tiger cubs than the North Carolina Zoo is able to. Hopefully this tiger tail will have a happy ending when these two cubs take up permanent residence at the Carnivore Preservation Trust. But the problem of private ownership of exotics is still an issue in our state that needs to be addressed. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the American Zoo and Aquarium Association website at aza.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney.